Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Over the past few months, I've been teaching quite a few online continuing education classes in Microsoft Excel. One of the major benefits for me as an instructor is that rather than teaching in a vacuum, I'm actually able to get feedback when I make assignments and get those assignments returned to me. So in this lesson, I want to go through and illustrate several challenges that many uh, students on my classes have had with copying the formatting only. In other words, copy the format and paste it into other cells. Leave the content in place, only copy and paste the formatting. So in this case, one of the assignments that I made was to use the autofill options to paste the formatting only. So my assignment was to say, I've got special formatting here for cell A3, and I want you to use autofill options to paste the formatting only. With autofill, you always begin by moving the mouse into the lower right corner of the cell. You see how it changes from that big white cross into the small little black cross? Click and then drag over a contiguous range of cells. When you release the mouse button, you have a little icon over here that what I found for most students is they ignored it. And then you see that by hovering the mouse over, it tells you there are autofill options when you click the drop down menu. So my instruction was to fill the formatting only. In other words, leave the content in place and fill the formatting only. Now, autofill formatting only works great when you have contiguous ranges of cells. Let me use Control Z to undo that. What if you wanted to copy this formatting into a non-contiguous range of cells? Well, there are two options, the Format Paintbrush and the Paste Special Commands. So let me illustrate the Format Painter. First, go to the cell that contains the formatting that you wish to paste into a range of cells. Now, on the Home tab of the ribbon, notice over here there is a paintbrush, the Format Painter. And look at the screen tip. If you click it once, it will copy the formatting from one place and apply it to another, either to a single cell or to a range of cells. The better option is to double click. All right, so here's the cell that has the formatting that I want to copy and paste the formatting only. Let me click once on the Format Paintbrush. Notice how the icon next to the large arrow has changed, so it includes a paintbrush. Now, I could paint a single cell, or I could come back, click on the Format Painter once, and then brush stroke over a range. Now let me use Control Z twice to undo that. So the better way to approach this, again, select the cell that has the formatting that you want to paste in, in another range and double click it. Once again, notice that you have the format paintbrush. So now we can use it multiple times to paint the formatting into the locations that we wish. And it will remain in memory until we either come back and toggle it off or press the escape key. So this time I'm going to toggle it off. And I'm going to use Control Z several times to undo that action and press escape to take it out of memory. Now I want to introduce you to another way that you can copy and paste special the formatting. The paste special menu is incredible with what it offers you with options. Once again, I'm going to select the cell that has the formatting that I want to uh, carry over into multiple locations. In this case, what I'm going to do before I paste special, I must first copy it. So in this case, I'm going to come up and use the copy icon, or I could use the keyboard shortcut, as you see, control C. Once again, I have those marching ants uh, over the cell whose formatting I want to copy over. 
Now I'm using a non-contiguous range over here. So using uh, Microsoft Excel for Windows, I'm going to hold down the Control key as I click over the non-contiguous cells. If I was using uh, Excel for the Mac, I would use the Command key while I did that. So I have multiple cells selected, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Paste Special dialog box. If you're using Excel 2007 or higher, you can use the drop-down menu to bring up those choices. Or you could bring up the Paste Special dialog box in any version of Excel. So in this case, what's on the clipboard, I want to copy the formats only to the cells that I have selected, the non-contiguous range, and click OK. And there you go. And once again, I want to click the Escape key to take this off of the Office clipboard. So there are three different approaches to copying the formatting only. If you have a contiguous range of cells, you can use the autofill options to fill the formatting only. You can always use the format paintbrush. My suggestion is you get into the habit of double clicking it so that you can apply it to multiple locations. Paste Special is fantastic. However, what you have to remember is that you first have to copy it. And if it's a non-contiguous range of cells, you have to make the selection. If you're using Excel for Windows, hold down the Control key while you make your uh, contig non contiguous range of cells uh, as your selection. If you're using a the uh, Apple Mac version of Excel, hold down the command key. So there you've seen a couple of uh, really interesting uh, feedback opportunities that I've received from my class. And I will look for you in the next episode.